Adding sounds to buttons makes them a lot more satisfying to interact with. In this video we will take a look at how you can add this, first in a simple way and then in a smart way. Source code for this project is down in the description and if you find this helpful please subscribe. So let's dive in. So I got a new project here and I'm gonna make a new scene and a user interface scene. Next we can add a button. So I'm gonna search up button and you can add one by pressing the plus button up here or control A. I'm gonna create a new button and on the anchor preset in the top middle, I'm gonna center the button so we have it in the middle of the screen. I'm gonna zoom in on it a little bit. I'm gonna say something like button on the text on the button and I'm gonna increase the size a little bit. Uh, if you just drag out these points, it will change the size in a, I guess, bad way. But if you control set that and hold in alt while uh, changing the size, it will change evenly on all sides. So something like that is better. I'm also gonna increase the font, so I'll just search up font and on theme overrides and font size, I'm gonna increase this a little bit to something like 60. This is obviously way too big for a menu, but is fitting for this. So now we have our button and we want to add a hover and a pressed sound effect to it. And I'm going to import some sound effects. I've now imported two sound effects, one for the clicking and one for the hover. And I think these were from Kenny, so I'll link that in the description if you want to get the same sound effects. Next we will add something to play the sound, so we will hit the plus button again and search for audio and we can add audio stream player uh, we don't need a 2d or 3d since it doesn't need a location so we can create this and drag in our click and i'll duplicate this stream player and on the other one i'll add a hover now we have our audio stream players i'm gonna rename them to click and this other one to hover now on our button, select our button and on node and signals, we can connect our pressed signal. I realized we don't have a script yet, so select root node and attach a new script and create. Select the button and connect the pressed signal by double clicking and connect. Here we want to play our click, so we can just select the pass and remove that, drag in our click onto the script and dot play and enter. And we can also connect the hover. We want to connect the mouse entered signal and we can double click that and connect. Remove everything and drag in the hover onto the script. Hold down on the node you want to drag in and drag it into the script. And then the same here, dot play, enter. And now if we save the scene and we run the scene, you can now see that the hover sound is working and the click sound is working. And this is basically the easy and simple way. Next I'm gonna show you the smart way. So Liblast made a video about this going further in detail on how everything works and he's the one who made this and I'll link it in the description. So I'm gonna make a new scene and we will use another node and since this doesn't need a location we just select a regular node, double click that and we will get a new scene. And we can rename this node to install sounds. It doesn't really matter what you name it, as long as you remember it. And we're gonna attach a new script to this and I'm gonna create. I'm gonna paste uh, this code here and you can find it on my GitHub. So you can just copy and paste it, uh, linked in the description. So I'm gonna select everything and paste in the code. A simple way how it works is that you need to name your audio files the same as this. So it needs to be UI hover and UI click. It also needs to be in the location. So here you see they are not in this location because this is from my other project. So I'm, right now they're just in the root. So I'm gonna copy the path and select this, remove it and paste the other path. They also need to be the same file format. So these ones are OGG, but yours may be MP4. So then you just enter MP4 here. And this is on the bus. So uh, I'll show you if we open up the audio. We have the master bus and I'll add a new bus and call it sound effects. 
and how it will get the sound effects boss, so the sounds will be linked to that boss. Yeah, and then you wanna install the sounds, so this is installing it to the buttons and option buttons. Here's also the texture button and tab container, that's something I wanted to mention. Not everything is working with this for some reason. I've tried all different kinds of combinations with the tab or tab container, but I can't seem to get it to work. So some things you may have to do manually with the simple approach we covered earlier, but for most things this works perfectly. So if we select the node and go into the inspector, we now have a root path we can assign and that's what we want to assign to give sounds to the buttons later. So I'm going to save the scene and I'm going to make a new scene. This can be a user interface scene and we're going to add a button. We can center this one as well and scale it up a little bit. And this can just say install sounds. Select the root node and this is the control node. It's basically the one at the top that you want to install it to. And we will instantiate the install sound scene. So you can hit this chain and what you want to add is the scene that has the script install sounds. Instantiate that and we want to set the root path and assign it. So the root path is the control node and we just press OK on that. And now as well, if we play the scene, I'm going to save it and I'm going to call it uh, install test. We run the scene. And you see now it works without having to connect all the signals for the button. This is a much easier way if you have a lot of buttons and it's not that complicated actually. And one thing I wanted to mention about it is that everything under the root path you connect it to will get the sound effects. And sometimes you may get uh, double sound effects for some things. If you have, for example, you instantiate your options menu onto your main menu, don't put it on your options menu because you will instantiate that on your main menu and pause menu. And if you install the sounds on the main menu and pause menu, it will receive double sounds and it will just sound really bad. So that was the simple approach that works really well for a few buttons. And then the smart way that basically instantiates a scene that installs the sounds to all the buttons. This is under the MIT license, so you can basically do whatever you want with it, as long as you include the license. Thanks for watching. If you want to support my work, check out my Ko-Fi in the description, and I'll see you in the next one.